So you want to make your videos stand out from the rest, but you don't know where to start. Let me introduce to you speed ramping. I use speed ramping on my videos all the time, and it makes my videos 10 times better. My name's Dan, and you're watching Dan Vinci. Let's go. Alright guys, so I just want to say a huge thanks to all the subscribers that have subscribed to me already and I've only uploaded two videos, mad. So let's jump into Resolve and let's start speed ramping. Right, so I've got Resolve open here and it would help that I actually have some footage. So let me get some footage imported into Resolve. I haven't actually thought about what footage to use. The two shots that I've decided to use are these two drone shots. Now the first is a shot of a lighthouse that I shot back in the summer, just rotating around it. It looks gorgeous. I love this shot. I actually used it in my first video about the magic mask if you want to go learn about the magic mask go down and watch that video it turned out great it's almost got a thousand views on my first video i kind of set the bar a little bit too high for myself whoops and the second shot is in wales of some cliffs in a completely different location so let's apply the speed ramping effect now it is important and i do stress this that the shots that you decide to use for this effect in particular are very similar in their motion the shots as you can see this shot is rotating around clockwise but if we go to this next shot here is actually going anti-clockwise. So it is very important for this speed ramping effect that both shots are traveling in the same direction and you'll see why later on. So let's reverse that clip and as you can see the two shots are traveling in the same direction which will help with our speed ramping effect. So how to apply a speed ramp. First you want to right click on your selected clip and navigate over to retime curve. This will open the retime curve settings. What you can do from here is click down on this arrow and click retime speed. Then clicking control R this will bring up your retime speed control. Okay, so first what we're going to do is find the area of the clip where we're going to add the keyframe to apply our speed up curve. And as you can see, we're rotating around the lighthouse. So let's go and speed up here. Okay, so what we want to do is go over to this little button here. So click this little button and what it will do is create a keyframe. Now this keyframe is very important. This is the point where your footage goes from normal speed, which is 100%, to whatever speed that you select. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I speed up the footage? It's actually quite simple. What you want to do is navigate over to the top right of your clip. Your cursor will turn into an arrow. Once your cursor is turned into an arrow, you want to click and drag your footage over to the left. And as you can see, the percentage is changing as we drag our footage back and forth really quickly. So let's say we want to go to, let's go to 500%. That's roughly 500%, as you can see, 500%. Now click on our keyframe that we've created, which is this little dot here. As you can see, it's now red. And we want to go over to this button here, which is the easy ease controls. So we want to click on this and it will create an easy ease in and an easy ease out, basically a gentle curve. And this is effectively your speed ramp. So if we click play now, our footage is speeding up. Brilliant. All right, now it's time to move on to the cliff shot. Right, so we've got the cliff shot now, and what we're going to do is apply another speed ramping effect, but this time it is going to be in reverse. The speed ramp is going to go from, let's say 500% all the way down to 100% normal speed. The way we're gonna go about this is slightly different to the way we went about the first shot. First, what we wanna do is right click and open retime curve. Just like before, let's switch this over to retime speed. Then let's find a point where we want the footage to slow down this time. So I'm gonna say about there. Let's click our keyframe and create a keyframe. Control R to open up our retime controls. We're going to need this in a minute. Then this time, go over to the keyframe, clicking this little arrow here, dragging it over to the left. And as you can see, our percentage speed is speeding up. Brilliant. Now, before this little keyframe disappears into the void, click this little keyframe, click the ease in and ease out. Boom, we have another speed ramp effect. Now, let's add this to the first shot and make this a full and complete transition. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag this footage over and just have a look at the transition as it is right now. All right, so as you can see the footage has sped up and now it's cut to the cliff so at the minute it doesn't look that great I'll admit so let's speed up our footage let's make this rapid so I've selected this side and sped it up so much so you can't actually see the percentage ah yes it's 5137 percent that is rapid let's drag this over and make this three 3,000%, 3,313 percent. Let's drag these together and let's play that back. Now look at that. Does that not look amazing? All right guys, so now we've got a pretty good transition, but I know how we could make this a little bit better. Go over to your adjustment clips. Now the adjustment clip can be found in the search bar. If you just search adjust, 
like so. Click on toolbox. And then we've got the adjustment clip. Drag the adjustment clip over. It'll appear in your timeline. Now the adjustment clip is literally what it says on label. It is just a clip that is there to be adjusted. You can add effects to it and everything underneath it will be adjusted by the adjustment clip. Pretty straightforward. So let's drag this adjustment clip over to our transition and let's open our clip speed controls by clicking control R. Let's zoom in and let's put this adjustment clip directly over our two speed ramping keyframes that we've created. And let's add in some blur. So let's search blur and let's go over to our open effects. And as we can see, we've got lots of options here, but this time I'm going to go with direction blur. Let's drag that over to the adjustment clip. Now, as you can see, it's made our footage blurry. Now this is a good thing and you'll see why. Let's go over to the effects in our inspector tab and let's go over to our blur strength. Let's strengthen that up a little bit and our blur angle, Let's adjust that so it's moving in a similar direction to, well, our transition. Now, what we want to do is go over to our adjustment clip and let's go over to the corners of the adjustment clip. As you can see, there'll be these little pegs, these little white pegs. If you hover over them, your cursor will become an arrow. Click it, drag it over, and this basically is the opacity controls. So as the clip goes on, this motion blur increases in strength. If we do this on the other side, it will decrease in strength. So if we click play, boom, we've got added some motion blur. Now this helps mask the jump cut, but if you let's say you've got music with a high tempo, a harsh cut like this might match. So it's really down to what you're editing and what style you want this speed ramping effect to essentially be. I'm going to add some sound effects to make this transition really pop. All right, guys, so that is the speed ramping effect. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a really good one to make. Feel free to drop a comment down below and please subscribe because this is a brand new channel. This is literally my third video. And I just want to say a huge thanks to all those subscribers that have already subscribed to me. I'm on triple figures already. I can't believe it. How mad is that? Wow!